Well, guys, after the longest time, yeah, we, we, we finally got a gameplay trailer for Madden NFL 18. Now, it's not super long. It doesn't show a whole lot, but it does show some stuff, all right? So at least it's something. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you on the screen right now, and then we can analyze it a little bit right after this. So watching this trailer initially, it honestly just seems like there's so much going on. But if you look at some of the clips broken down, there's actually a lot of really, really cool new features. This next feature, which I think might be one of the coolest features added in the Madden franchise is target passing. It's essentially where you move a target over an icon to pass the ball to a receiver. You guys will be able to see it demonstrated right here with Des Bryant. As you guys can see, Dak Prescott is back in the pocket. He has to move that little orange icon over the red icon to bullet pass it in so the Des can catch it right on the money. This feature is going to be absolutely awesome for a lot of competitive players and especially a lot of people that like throw absolute hot dots. I feel like this can be really sick, although I know you can throw a lot of interceptions with this, especially if you mess up. This feature is going to be somewhat difficult to use, but honestly, once you get the hang of it and once you get it down, it's going to be one of the coolest things added into the Mana franchise. It's a really, really nice feature, helps you throw absolute dots, but if you mess up, it's probably going to be a pick. Another thing that's added in here is coach adjustments. You guys can see there's so many different coach adjustments you can do this year. Now, I wouldn't say coaching adjustments necessarily is all new, but the fact that you can do anything in the game, like actually while you're playing the game, is pretty damn sick. You guys can see ball near defense. You can change that to swatting or playing the ball. There's different cornerback matchups you can use. There's options on defense. There's pass rush options. I'd say coaching adjustments definitely got a big revamp of Madden 18. Now, this next feature is honestly something that's new pretty much every single year. It's different wide receiver and defensive back mechanics. You guys can see different blocking and tackling mechanics. Obviously, I don't know if it's really going to be that new or that revolutionary, but it's going to be something upgraded, new animations. So I think that's going to be a pretty cool addition to Madden 18, but it definitely doesn't trump the coaching adjustments or especially the target passing. Those two features are pretty damn incredible, and they, they outmatch the new mechanics for the wide receivers, defensive backs, and linemen, like 100%. Another feature that I think could be kind of cool, added into the Madden franchise, well, not really added in, but it's new hit stick animations. You guys can obviously see from the clips right here, it says more hits. So I'm assuming that means more hits, more animations that we can see when playing Madden 18. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen the same animations in Madden for hit sticks for the longest time. Like, honestly, the one that we just saw on the screen right there looked like one that's been in Madden for a really long time. I've really been waiting for the time when you get hit and your helmet gets knocked off. That would be pretty sick. I, I doubt that'll happen this year. But, hey, at least we got more animations for hit sticks. And this is something that we've known for a pretty long time. It's the three new game styles. There's arcade mode, there's simulation mode, and there's competitive mode. Now, from what I know, competitive mode is going to be the main mode for Madden Ultimate Team. Now, when I first heard competitive mode, honestly, I got a little nervous because I'm like, I'm not a competitive player. Why do I want to play on competitive game mode in Madden Ultimate Team? Essentially, what it means is that if you throw in a triple coverage, throw in a double coverage, you're going to throw in an interception. There's no bailouts. There's nothing like that. There's thresholds that have to be met with certain overalls and certain attributes to make certain animations happen. That's essentially what it means. Simulation, on the other hand, it's very, very similar to what we played this year. Simulation, essentially, if you throw it, there's a possibility that your wide receiver could drop it. There's definitely a possibility at flags happening a lot. You might fumble the ball a couple times a game. It's pretty much just everything at random. And Arcade, well, everyone knows what Arcade is, man. You can tell by the name. Arcade is what Madden 16 was. You throw it up into triple coverage, you're gonna come down with an aggressive catch. It's stuff that's really, really unrealistic when it comes to video games, honestly, and when it comes to Madden in general or NFL in general. Those are the three game modes that we have. 
Competitive mode is what Man Ultimate Team is going to be played on. Arcade mode, I think you can change like in offline games. And simulation is what connected franchise is going to be on as well. Now, when I first watched this trailer, I was honestly very, very underwhelmed. I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is there so much fast stuff? But if you look at the trailer more in depth, like I just showed you right here, there's target passing, which is absolutely incredible. That's a really, really cool feature added into Man NFL 18. There's different coaching adjustments. We actually get to see what the coaching adjustments are. The fact that you can change your cornerback match, but you can change them based on height, based on speed, based on overall. And then the stuff that you pretty much know is going to be in the game every single year, the new mechanics with the wide receivers, defensive back, offensive line, and defensive line. You also have the addition of hit sticks, maybe helmet coming up, I don't know. And also the reintroduction of the new game modes are arcade mode, simulation mode, and competitive mode. I wasn't very excited when I first saw this trailer. After breaking it down, I could definitely say this Madden NFL 18, it could be pretty nice. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for all the support as of late. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so